Let's try another one, shall we? Let's try the Shores. The Tier 6 Russian Tech Tree Cruiser. Go ahead and look at the stats and upgrades. Survivability, average. Got the 4x152s. 7.6 7 second reload. Not too bad. Not the best. 15% fire chance. Uh, the maneuverability says 71. I don't believe it. <laughs> Not the most maneuverable, but let's go ahead and get in right into the gameplay. I, uh, I don't know if you guys saw my Kudasov video, but the... Uh, Cruisers are light cruisers. They are made for HE spam, essentially. You've got the smaller caliber guns uh, with the quick reload and the high fire chance. It's not necessarily a high fire chance, but you have um, so many guns that, you know, if each shell has a 15% chance and you hit a ship 12 times per salvo every 7 seconds. Uh, the math isn't that, you know, isn't that complicated to figure that out. Let's go ahead and check out what we have. Okay, we're up tiered. It's good. <clears throat> now, for for the life of me, I don't remember the name of this map. It was quite literally just on the screen. Uh, but this map, if you can see, spawns three ships on this side, and with our three on that side. And it goes except it's on the opposite so in front of us and six on that side and it's almost I can almost bet my life you can already see the battleships start turning that those ships are gonna come over here and those ships you can see it it's already spotted they're gonna go that way it's this just incredibly unbalanced match in this clockwise turn where those ships are coming here and we're going over the top so if you play this map, do not do what these ships do. There's no point in doing... There's no point in this. We just... We lose those three ships almost immediately. Okay, so we've got a Leander. He's going to smoke up. Come in. We've got a Belfast and a New Orleans. If the New Orleans wasn't out there, I would push the uh, Leander because... He doesn't really know how to play, and he's gonna. Yeah, he's smoking up now. Um, and the hood should just honestly rush him. Yeah, we're gonna burn this good ice now down. Good ice now. Uh, Shark horse. Hopefully, I do not get detected by the plane here. I've got the smoke screen cover, but a plane can still detect me if it's flying overhead. There it is. So he just put out his fire, so we're gonna actually try and get in the smoke here. I'm not sure what our detectability in smoke is, but I know it's not that great for the Kudasov. So it's probably not gonna be the best for... So we're actually gonna kite away. Uh, no, he's kiting. Uh... Don't shoot, just don't shoot. Don't shoot, you won't be detected. I told you the, the propulsion and the, the maneuverability on this thing are not the best. Yeah, so we are detected even with the smoke cover, but that is a permanent fire. We're going back up. Now, the Sharn Horse does have torpedoes. Let's hopefully can catch one more fire. Nope, it's okay. We've already got a permanent fire. Yeah, the Leander just not a smart play but you can see now it's six on two and it's six on three on that side because we already lost our so this belt this this belfast is that's fine but get back Uh, I missed the torpedoes. No, I didn't. He's gonna turn right out. Ah, uh, he's dead anyway. So, takes the kill, but that's alright. 
now, if you guys can see, it is six on one on this side. And it's six on... Well, those ships are even retreating themselves. So we've got one destroyer fighting those six ships on that side. So I'm going to be a team player. I'm going to push through this channel right here in front of me. Attention. Reporting the target position. While, you know, getting some damage in the meantime. Oh, hello! Uh, we're not going to beach, but we're going to try and get the guns around. Actually... Oh, wrong way. Okay. Like I said, this is the robot all. Wow, I, I'm not sure what that what he was doing. Oh, they're in a division, aren't they? Yep. Wait, I can't do math. Is he coming around? Yeah, he is. No, he's not. I'm gonna get I'm gonna catch him on this side. No, he is. Make a decision. Come on. Play work with me here. Now I'm actually gonna be detected rather soon. Yep. We've got Hydro running, so we're not too worried about torpedoes from that. It's a T-22, which is a Tier 4. Yeah, and we're a Tier 6. So we greatly outmatch him. He popped his smoke. Um, so I don't know if I'm detected. There he is. Yep, now I'm detected by him for sure. He's probably newer to the game. Might have bought that ship, not sure, but he... He's probably trying to get a torpedo run off on me. Let's see if someone takes our kill. Nope, we got it. We're gonna actually go to stop, make sure that torpedoes aren't coming through. We're gonna go ahead and look that way. So you can see the little arrow at the bottom of our ship is pointing that way. That's the way the guns are facing. You can press, I believe it's LB on Xbox with my controller set up. Uh, to look around. Concentrate fire on the target. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and shoot at these guys and then make our way back to the base. Like I said, it's a clockwise push. It happens almost every game on this map. I, I don't know why Wargaming won't fix the spawns. They should have data on that already. That It's just... It happens every game. I, I Like I said, I almost bet my life on it. I called it before it happened this game. It happened literally how I predicted it. I see it nine times out of ten on this map. It's just because players don't know. They spawn, like, right there. They're like, ooh, I'm gonna go this way. There's more islands. There's more cover. Um, but as you can see, we're getting a lot of fires, a lot of damage. They should be putting out... That's a double fire on both of them. Yeah, they just put them out. If we were positioned a little bit better, we could have stayed there and, and continued to, to launch launch HE and, and burn them. But we'll move around here, get a, another position, while supporting our team on the backside here. Our teammates have done an, a decent job of, of not completely losing this side. I mean, as you can see, the New Mexico has been focus fired, and he's almost dead. Hopefully our team can capture the base, but I'll be able to reset the base a few times while they're on that side. We have a very, you know, you can see we're ahead 7, well, now 6 to 2. But, uh, I'm going to be the focus fire target here soon. The New Mexico just died, and there's no other ships close because they just sail on through. No concept of the game whatsoever. Which is okay, you know, we ended up in a tier four. That should be a permanent fire on the Nagato, at least for some time. There we go, there's a double. Iron healed up a bit, but we'll get him. Let's see if we can launch. Can we launch at this guy? Nope. So I've explained this in, in previous videos, but you see that, that symbol, the mountain symbol that appears? Yeah, right there. So some of those shells might hit the mountain, but the rest made it through. So if you do not see that symbol, your shells will actually make it over the mountain. 
And uh, a good, like, a uh, good trick to use is the kind of the. So that's the auto aim feature. The game kind of gives it to you. I think you have to triple tap your zoom button, double tap it. But even then, I don't, I don't like it. I don't think it's the best. Um, I have a feel for most ships I play often. As you can see, some hit, but I guess those were that was, those were my aim shells. But it's all right. Should be a permanent fire. I believe. He's dead. He's dead. Ah, <laughs> double strike. Triple strike? Got him. Good game. I mean, their team kind of potatoed harder than our team potatoed, but we came back, supported our base, supported our team on that side, got first place by a couple hundred points. See, not a great game, only 1,800 experience gained. Almost had a crack in there. Um, kind of ended those two kills, got a double strike. But that's the Shores. Uh, we got up-tiered there, so if you get... I think that's going to happen a lot more. I saw another YouTuber say with the legendary ships coming in the game, tier 6 is going to get pulled down more instead of pulled up, if that makes sense, because the tier 7 is the only tier that can be matched with the legendary tier. And as soon as the legendary tier ships start coming into the game, that's all that's going to be played um, for those upper-level players like myself. As soon as I get those legendary tiers, you'll bet, bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be making a video on them. Uh, but that's the shores. Uh, you're a light cruiser. I didn't really get shot at too much. Um, I was just kind of sailing around playing islands and angles. But that's what you want to do in any cruiser, especially a light cruiser. You uh, want to make sure that you play your angles pretty well uh, and, and use your island cover. But look at that. 15 fires on f 15 hits. So that is the shores. The tier 6 Russian light cruiser. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, let me show you my commander real quick. I've got Nikolai Kuznetsov. You have to say it in the Russian accent. Um, but this is what I have. You could add the fire chance, but I like the range. Um, you don't really need it, but... I, I, that's just how I have him set up. Uh, again... Uh, actually, I actually didn't know there was two. Yes, so that's why I have the range on that guy, because <laughs> we have it there. Now, this is a trait. Uh, it's called it's called Twist and Track on Destroyers. Um, it shows... The, this is actually pretty useful. Um, it's actually really useful. I might I might switch it to that. Uh, there's This commander is one of the best in the game. Cruiser commanders, anyway. He's got a pretty decent base trait. The range, that's, that's an average base trait. There are some better ones. We've got range again, the fire chance. This one actually allows, alerts you to um, who, how many people are looking at you. So it tells you like twist and track and RPF, radio position finding. I think that's what it's called in the PC version, not this game, I'm not sure. Uh, it's called twist and track on destroyers, but it gives you an indicator of the nearest ship. So if there's a destroyer uh, near you, it'll give you the direction. It's not that accurate, but it's, you know, within, I'd say, an eighth, like, it, it would be divided into eight sections around. Um, and then it also gives you the trait of how many people are looking at you. So when you're detected, it, either by plane or surface detection, it'll show you that eyeball. If you run out in the middle there and everyone's looking at you, you you'll know. You know, you'll see seven ships looking at you, or one or two. So that way, you can kind of get an idea of of who's looking at you and that's kind of if someone selects you with the selector button if no one's looking at you it'll just be you'll just be surface detected like if you're just in somebody's detectability like we were for that i believe it was a iron that previous game that sailed into us i'm not sure um then you'd just be detected without anyone actually seeing you then we've got the cruiser main ap shell damage and the multiplier i'm probably going to change this one there's, there's not really any better options. The, the armor penetration of HE shells, I, I would increase that, but we only have 152s, and you can't penetrate that much armor with 152s. 
Uh, maybe some, I mean, definitely destroyers, but again, what's the what's the point? Then we got the precision and dispersion. Um, it, it's just better to have accurate. Honestly, we probably maybe should switch because of the terrible steering and and rudder shift time of the these cruisers. But if you play smart, you won't really need it. And we've got the reload time all the way up to legendary tier two. You can add another consumable. And for the shores, you can switch between a plane and a radar. Um, so, yeah. Nine kilometer radar. It's not like the Chapiev. The Chapiev is way overpowered. It has 12 kilometer radar. It's ridiculous. Or 11.4, I believe. So, yeah. But that is the tier six Russian cruiser, the shores. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to, like, you know, give it a like there, subscribe. Uh, watch you know some more content i got a few videos up there especially on the research bureau those ships coming out have a great day guys thanks for watching